Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing on how to size your MPPT solar charge controller. Uh, remember in our last uh, previous video, we discussed more on how to size your PWM charge controller. And I made a promise that I'm going to be bringing you a method, a simple method you're going to use to size your solar charge controller, MPPT. So, here is our MPPT solar charge controller. Believe me, this is one of the cheapest solar charge controller you can get in the market. But it's top notch. The performance is top notch. So, uh, I'm not advertising the products, but it's one of the cheapest. But the performance is top notch. So, remember what I said earlier on the previous video that the factors you need to put into consideration are the specifications of the solar charge controller because every solar charge controller has specifications the same way your solar panel is equally have specifications so before sizing your solar panels you must also consider your charge controllers now the little the formula we have on the board is the simplest method to size your MPPC solar charge controller. So we have our SC, which is our solar charge controller, is equals to maximum size of PV array divided by maximum power voltage of PV array multiplied by 1.2. Like you earlier said, this our 1.2 is our safety factor. So this maximum size of PV array is the total wattage of your solar panel. Remember we have our VOC, we have our VMP. This VOC is the voltage you measured from your solar panel when it is not connected to a load. Not connected to a load. Where the VMP is the voltage you measured, you measured when it's connected. When connected when connected to a load. So let me give you a few examples. So this is our example of a series connection. This is four solar panels connected in series. One, two, three, four. They are all connected in series. And we said earlier, when solar panels are connected in series, the voltage will double. It will multiply the voltage of the solar panel. So these solar panels are connected in series. And the, the total PV array of this solar panel is the total wattage is 440 watts. So this 440 watts is connected in series. That is 440 watts multiplied by 4. That is total power is equal to 440 watts multiplied by 4, which is equal to 1760 watts. That is the total PV array of this particular solar panels that we connected in series. Now, and we said here that the total voltage, that is the maximum voltage, power voltage is 32.81 volts, which we also multiply, because when we connect solar panels in series, we keep multiplying. So the current, the, the voltage increases and the current remains the same. The voltage increases and the current remains the same because it is series connection. So we multiply this, the wattage, to be 1,760 watts. Then the total maximum PV array is 32.81 volts multiplied by 4, which gives us 131.24 volts, which is the total maximum power voltage. Now, here now, we now have our SCC, which is our charge controller, 
our SCC, which is solar charge controller, we have total power, which is 1360 watts, divide by 131 volts, which is the total PVRA. Now multiply by our power factor, which is 1.2. It will equal to 16 amps solar charge controller. But you know that this is going to be very difficult for you to see a 16 amp solar charge controller in the market. So you will not approximate it to be 20 amp solar charge controller. Remember, the amps of this solar panel that is connected in series, the current remain the same. Remember, having chosen your solar charge controller to be 20 amps, you must also ensure that your solar charge controller will be able to accommodate the total power which is the wattage of 1760 watts and your the total input voltage should be up to 131.24 vgc so you cannot get 1.1 uh, 131.24 vgc in the market rather in other words, you can go for between 150 to 160 VGC. So this is all for series connection. So we'll be bringing you in our next video how to connect your solar panels and how to size it in parallel connection. So thank you and see you in our next video. God bless.